Hey there, YouTube fam. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a fascinating topic lined up for you, one that's sure to boost your English language skills. We'll be diving into the intriguing world of modal verbs and their functions, with some real-life examples to make it crystal clear. So, if you're ready to level up your English, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. First things first, let's break down the basics. What are modal verbs, and why are they essential in English? Modal verbs are a special group of auxiliary verbs in English that express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability. They work alongside the main verb in a sentence to give it more meaning and depth. Now, there's a handful of common modal verbs you need to know. We've got must, should, can, could, will, would, may, and might. Each of these has its own unique role in shaping the meaning of a sentence. Let's dig deeper into the functions of these modal verbs, shall we? Take must. For instance, it's all about necessity. When you use must, you're saying something is crucial and non-negotiable, like paying your bills. I must pay my bills means you absolutely have to do it. No excuses. You want to talk about possibility. Enter could. It's like wielding a magical wand of possibility. I could travel the world means there's a chance, but it's not definite. You have the potential, but it's not set in stone. Now, what about permission? May and can are your golden tickets. May I go to the party? You're politely seeking permission. Can I go to the party? You're checking if it's physically possible. See the difference? Lastly, let's talk about ability. Cannon could come to the rescue. I can lift weights. You're showing your current ability. I could lift weights when I was younger. You're talking about a past ability. Modal verbs make your sentences dynamic and so, precise. To sum it up, modal verbs are your language superpower. They express necessity, possibility, permission, and ability. Giving your sentences that extra oomph. Now, go ahead and practice using these modal verbs in your everyday conversations. You'll be amazed at how much more expressive and confident you'll sound. That's a wrap for today's video, folks. If you found this breakdown of modal verbs helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share it with your fellow language enthusiasts. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, the world of English is full of exciting possibilities when you master modal verbs. Until next time, keep learning and keep shining.